On this video we're taking a look at our NHL best bets for the games that are happening on Thursday, March 31st, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. New York Islanders vs Columbus Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets win. And here is why. The Columbus Blue Jackets will try to snap a 4-game losing skid after a 4-3 loss to the Islanders last time out. Patrick Lane leads the Blue Jackets in scoring with 51 points, and Oliver Bjorkstrand has 50 points, with Lane logging a team-high 25 goals, and Bjorkstrand chipping in 24 goals and 26 assists. Jakob Borisak also got 49 points with a team-high 44 assists. Boon Jenners also got 44 points with 23 goals and 21 apples this season. Elvis Merzlikens has seen the majority of Columbus's action in goal, going 22-16-5 with a 3.40 GA and a .902 save percentage this season. The New York Islanders will look to build on their win over Columbus last time out to split their last six games. Brock Nelson leads the Islanders in scoring with 48 points, including a team-high 32 goals, while Matthew Barzil has 44 points with 12 goals and a team-high 32 assists. Anders Lee has 40 points with 25 goals, and Noah Dobson's got 38 points with 28 assists. Ilya Sorokin has gone 22-14-7 with a 2.30 GA and a .927 save percentage this season. The Columbus Blue Jackets and New York Islanders just played on Tuesday, where the Islanders came away with a 4-3 victory. The Islanders will more than likely be playing without their starting goalie, Ilya Sorokin, as he is day-to-day -day with an upper body injury. This is a big blow to the Islanders, as the Blue Jackets are a decent offensive team who rank just outside the top 10 in goals for per game. The bigger advantage for the Blue Jackets is that this will be the ISLANDERS apostrophe 8th game in 12 days. With so much hockey being played in a short time with their backup goalie starting, place your bet on the Blue Jackets' money line. Calgary Flames vs Los Angeles Kings Flames minus 1.5 goals. And here is why. The Los Angeles Kings will look to rebound from a 4-3 shootout loss to the Edmonton Oilers last time out. Anz Kopitar leads the Kings in scoring with 57 points, including a team-high 40 assists and 17 goals, while Victor Arvidsson has 40 points with 18 goals and 22 assists, and Adrian Kemp's point total is at 42, with a team-high 28 goals of his own. Jonathan Quick's gone 17-12-9 with a 2.66 GA and a .909 save percentage this season between the pipes for the Kings, while Cal Peterson's gone 18-11-1 with a 2.74 GAA and a .900 save percentage. Thursday night's game against the Calgary Flames will be the second stop on the Los Angeles Kings' three-game road trip and their second in as many nights as they played the Edmonton Oilers the night before. The Flames find themselves with a comfortable lead over the Kings for first in the Pacific Division, and a Flames win would place a little more distance between the two teams. The Calgary Flames will look to bounce back after a 2-1 loss to the Colorado Avalanche at home in their last game. Johnny Gaudreau leads the Flames in scoring with 90 points, including a team-high 60 assists, while Elias Lindholm has 68 points with 34 assists and 34 goals, with Gaudreau posting a plus 49 plus minus rating, while Lindholm also has a plus 49 rating. Matthew Tkachuk has 32 goals and 51 assists for his 81 points, while Andrew Mangipain has 45 points and 30 goals of Colorado Avalanche vs San Jose Sharks. Avalanche minus 2.5 goals. And here is why. The San Jose Sharks are averaging 2.6 goals per game and are scoring on 18.6% of their power play opportunities. Timo Meyer leads San Jose with 30 goals, Brent Burns has 36 assists, and Thomas Hurtla has 175 shots on goal. Defensively, the San Jose Sharks are allowing 3.1 goals per game and are killing 84.4% of their opponents' power plays. Adin Hill has allowed 61 goals on 648 shots faced, and James Reimer has allowed 99 goals on 1,189 shots. The San Jose Sharks wrap up a two-game road trip on Thursday when they play the Colorado Avalanche. The Sharks will be playing their second leg of back-to-back -back games, as they were in Arizona the night before, playing the Coyotes. 
these two teams played about two weeks ago, a 5-3 avalanche win, but the score was deceiving, as a few late goals by the Sharks made the game seem closer than it was. The Colorado Avalanche are averaging 3.8 goals per game and are scoring on 24.9% of their power play opportunities. Mikko Rantanen leads Colorado with 33 goals, Nazem Kadri has 55 assists, and Nathan McKinnon has 241 shots on goal. Defensively, the Colorado Avalanche are allowing 2.8 goals per game and are killing 78.4% of their opponents' power plays. Darcy Kuemper has allowed 105 goals on 1,388 shots faced, and Pavel Frankis has allowed 38 goals on 461 shots. The San Jose Sharks have been shaky over the last week, and them being on the end of a back-to-back -back doesn't help them here. The Colorado Avalanche have been the best team in the league all year, and they're an unstoppable force on their home ice. With the rest advantage, there's no reason to go against the Avs here. The Avalanche are the best team in the NHL and are the first team to 100 points. The Avalanche rank second in goals for per game, while the Sharks have a borderline bottom 10 defense, as they rank 24th in expected goals against and 20th in goals against per game. Lean on the Avalanche at home to take advantage of a tired Sharks team with a bad defense and place your bet on the Avalanche alternative puck line. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.